So in this series, what the heck is wrong with my orchid? We're going to talk about nitrogen deficiency, how to recognize it, and more importantly, what to do about it. I'm Amanda Matthews, and thank you for watching this video at Orchidaria. So nitrogen is one of the primary macronutrients that your orchid needs. That's why all fertilizers have a nitrogen component to them, which is the NPK ratio. If you haven't seen my website, go to my website at orchidaria.com and you you can download if you subscribe to a fertilization guide for free it's 14 pages and i explain what each ratio is and what it's it does for your orchid and how your orchid reacts to it if you have a nitrogen deficiency it's easily treated with an adequate fertilizer with the first number in the npk ratio the highest you can also use black tea to raise that nitrogen level if you do not want to add chemical fertilizers to it. So how do you identify a nitrogen deficiency in orchids? All three primary macronutrients, which are nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, NPK, are mobile nutrients. That means the orchid can pull them from any other structure in the orchid to supply where it's most needed. Once the orchid senses this deficiency, it's going to pull nitrogen from where it has an excess. So if your older leaves are fine and healthy, they have a higher quantity of nitrogen than the younger leaves that are just sprouting out and they need that nitrogen, well, the orchid's going to pull that nitrogen from the older leaves and move it to the younger leaves. This means that your nitrogen deficiency will be more visible in older bottom leaves on your orchid. Now, a nitrogen deficiency will have a halo effect. The outside of the orchid will turn of the leaf will turn yellow, while the middle of the orchid will be still bright green. Now, what is happening here is the orchid is pulling nitrogens from the very tips and ends and outside edges to later pull it through the middle of the orchid leaf. The difference between a nitrogen deficiency and a magnesium deficiency is that magnesium deficiency, if it's in the more advanced stages, it will show rusty spots on the leaf that easily mistaken for bacterial brown spot. And if they aren't cured, they can invite that to come in. Nitrogen deficiency does not have those spots. Also, look at the very tip of the orchid leaf. If it's starting to turn yellow and this yellow is being pulled back, it has a nitrogen deficiency. So your tips are going to turn yellow and curl under and soon these yellow tips are going to turn brown. Now, don't mistake the turning brown with a overdose of fertilizer because also when you give your orchid too much fertilizer the tips can also turn brown it's just their reaction to what do i do with all this fertilizer so if you have over fertilized oh hey whoa 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 yikes oh midnight really really midnight no stop To make sure that it is actually a nitrogen deficiency and not something else, you need to check seven different things inside your orchid pot. First, check for poor drainage because if your orchid leaf is turning yellow, it could be that the water is stagnant inside your potting media and this stagnant water is going to turn the leaves yellow. It's common also in house plants, so if your plant leaves are turning yellow, it could be too much watering. So poor drainage, improper watering, you're watering too much or you're watering too frequently. So space out the days in between those watering so that potting media really dries out. Another thing that could cause the yellowing of orchid leaves in this same pattern is damaged roots. Your orchid does not have the root system that it needs. It's not getting hydrated enough. So you actually need to be working on more root growth instead of adding more nitrogen. The next reason that these leaves are gonna turn yellow or, color or molt and turn with patches of yellow signs in them 
and you can see in this orchid right here i have that going on you can see a little bit of the yellowing in the leaf it is from cold draft so i bought this orchid in winter i bought it at a construction store during winter ran it to the car it's one of those promotions buy five orchids get six problems and yeah it first hasn't been fertilized and i don't know how long i don't even know how it has blooms on it the chlorosis is happening because it hasn't been fertilized and also because of the cold draft so this is a multi-symptom orchid that has several problems with it and i'm going to treat it one by one now the cold draft where it got cold I, I can treat it a little bit, but that leaf is never going to be exactly the same as a healthy leaf. I just have to wait till new leaves are born. And the last sign of a yellowing leaf is too high of a light. So Phalaenopsis orchids are low light orchids. In terms of foot candles, you'll be in between 1000 and 1300. If you have artificial lighting, you need to keep them on a lower shelf or further away from the lights. If you have them on a window and they're getting afternoon sun, you need to change the window so they're getting morning sun only. Phalaenopsis do not like direct light and too much light can turn that leaf yellow. So if none of these signs are what's happening to your orchid leaf, then it's probably a nitrogen problem. If this video has helped you increase your knowledge in orchid care, please hit that like button just so I know that this video is doing its job and what videos to produce more of in the future. How to cure this? Tea. And you can watch a video about tea right here. If you don't want to use tea, you can also increase your fertilization because all fertilizers for orchids have nitrogen in them. Just the first number, increase that number. Now the difference between magnesium deficiency and nitrogen deficiency it's going to be in the coloration of how this orchid is going to leach this color so in a magnesium deficiency the yellow spots are going to be in the middle of the leaf and the outside is going to be green in a nitrogen deficiency it's the opposite the yellow is on the outside it's like forming a little halo you know if you imagine the leaf as a little angel and the halo is just shining on the outside of of the leaf that is a nitrogen deficiency another sign of a nitrogen deficiency is if all of a sudden your leaves just don't grow to the size that they are it's not disproportional growth, it's just smaller growth all the way around. Now let's say you fixed your nitrogen deficiency, you got a fertilizer with an extra dose of nitrogen and you just applied it week after week after week after week. What are the signs of a nitrogen toxicity? Because we can do the other side, it's not a deficiency, but you have too much inside your orchid pot. Now the first sign of this is Obviously, the chlorosis isn't going to happen because it has nitrogen to produce healthy chlorophyll. So your leaves are going to go in overload of chlorophyll. They're going to turn dark, luscious green. Now, if they're in the right light and they're already very, very green, you might think that's a sign. Hmm, I think my nitrogen levels are a little high. Too much nitrogen in your orchid pot will start to produce cakeys. So if you have an incredible high amount of cakey production one year and it didn't blossom, but the cakeys are just, you know, cakey here, cakey there, cakey everywhere, you have excess nitrogen and you need to bring that nitrogen down by probably changing fertilizers with one that doesn't have the high amount of nitrogen in it. So too much nitrogen inside your orchid is going to grow, incentivate unproportional growth. So if you have one leaf that is way high, <laughs> way long, and the next leaf grows whoo, outside the parameters and then the next leaf is small or you have the orchid on the left side is growing way too much and then the orchid on the right side is just keeping tiny that is too much nitrogen inside your fertilizer. So you need to really manage those doses and bring that fertilizer down a little bit. Each orchid is going to have its range of green 
and you need to know what a healthy orchid looks like. And to see the signs of a healthy orchid, you can watch this video up here and I'll show you 13 signs to know that your orchid care is adequate. And if you haven't seen the magnesium deficiency, you can watch this video down here. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions about nitrogen deficiency, please write them in the the box below. That, that's something I really like to do is to interact with other people here and being a small channel I still can do that. In all I wish you the best with your orchid care and happy cultivating.